Hey, first fam, wanted to come on here really quick to share my quick leather conditioning touch up that I'm doing on this L MS Kelly 35 vintage 19 year, 1977 is when it was made. Um, and this product is called the Sapphire Medaille Doll 1925 Paris. Uh, Medaille Doll, I mean like gold, gold medal. So a gold standard they use. Um, and you look at this specific one because they make a very you know, variety of products, some for shoes and some have wax, but this one specifically is that states it's for box calf leather. And the biggest thing about box calf is that I've my understanding is to refrain, <laughs> do not use wax based conditioner. And this is a jojoba oil based conditioner. So this product was recommended on the purse form by some members who use it on their box calf bags um, in between their visits to taking their bags to the leather spa. So you can see here where I started on the clochette, it was pretty dry. And um, before I finished, I was like, oh, let me do a quick review. I hadn't touched a spot because this was, this piece was pulled up to the top. So you can see the difference. This is how it was here, you know, really dry. Like our skin, if we don't use, you know, lotion or oils, I use coconut oil, you're gonna develop dryness and crack. So I went ahead and took care of that. So let's do this. And you can see the difference. And it's just drinking up that conditioner. So this is what I'm doing in between. Well, until I able to take this for to um, MS for the other spa, which you know, look at that. Wow, it's crazy. So, yeah. Is that a difference? So, yeah, just wanted to do a quick video. Hope all is well. So, if you have box calf bags, maybe do some research on this product. Um, you know, just like I said, like our skin. You don't condition it. It's, that's what box calf is. It's cow leather skin, and um, if you don't put you know lotion or oils on your skin, you're gonna have cracks. <laughs> so I use actually coconut oil on my skin. So I'm doing some touch ups here and there. I did on the singles. I did on this because it was looking dry and it looks much better. So and then the corners as well, um, but it's gonna need some leather coloring but i'll leave that to ms i want to do a huge facelift what i mean by facelift like possibly um you know get the handles um i don't know if i want to get the handles done again because the new kelly's have a, uh, a double handle is more um more rolled instead of flat and then they have an extra hook here to anchor the strap because I think over time of people, you know, they've realized the old, you know, the original Kelly was not meant, was not made with a strap. And then people started adding the straps, but then it would, it adds tension to here. And there's a lot of issues with here, um, stitchings and stuff being popped because the tension on that. So now the new Kelly have a double hook that you can hook, you know, just an extra hook for you to specifically for the strap. So I don't know, because she's 45 years old right now. And I was like, oh, maybe, you know, for her 50th birthday, I'll, you know, she'll get a face look, facelift, you know, replace the hardware, you know. Um, but I don't know. It's it's 18 karat gold. It looks pretty good, you know. I don't know. But it will make it more extra shiny. <laughs> um, Like, you know, because some of the 18 gold lighting rubbed off a little bit on here. You can't really see it on camera, but on person, that's where the they had the lock hanging off of, so it was rubbing off of it. You know, get some new locking keys. So, we'll see. All right, talk to you guys later. I'm like, like, I forgot. While I was doing this, I'm like, oh crap, I should've done this on camera. Remember the cracks I had, you know, with the leather? And this was just one that was really prominent. And when I put the leather conditioner, it's like, it kind of it relaxed, like the, like it's like, oh, I'm conditioned, like, it's like smoothing over, that's kind of crazy. Oh. That 
that is crazy. Yes. Things you can kind of still see here. This is where the bigger one was. So it looks so much better. It's like I could feel the leather just once I put like the conditioner, just like I felt the leather just relax. It's not as tense. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm gone for real this time. I now I'm kinda of like, darn it. I forgot to do it on camera. I was like all in the zone. I'm still trying to <laughs> get back on camera mode and showing everything, but goodness. I can see it a little bit more right here. So you guys know. Uh, let's see if I can do it with camera. Let's do it with camera. See that? It's just melting. Guys, I'm a big believer on conditioning your bags. And you guys already know. I've been doing that since Dooney time. But it looks so much better. And it feels better. Like the leather, it feels like... Oh, I'm hydrated. I was so ashy and cracked. <laughs> okay, I'm gone for real this time. Bye. <laughs>